Amaira, Karang Amaira, Karang Amaira. Te nei rā te reo mihi kia koutou kua e ke mai nei ki roto i te rohe o ngā titaka pari e. Te nā koutou, te nā koutou, te nā koutou katoa e. The morning of my birth. My parents phoned home to Whangaruru to ask my great-grandparents, how was the water? Their reply to my father was, it's still. My parents named me Waikamanya, calm water, and after my maternal tūpuna, Waikamanya. I am blessed with a whakapapa, a genealogy of voyaging people. I am Samoan, from the villages of Iwasawai in Saoniatu. I am Māori of the Ngāti Wai people who voyaged seasonally from Aotea, Great Barrier Island, to the mainland. I'm raised on the water. We explore our local coastline as a whānau. My two sisters dive and I eat the seafood. <laughs> My kaupaparangaho, research topics, were natural for me. I am a mokopana of the sea and the traditional knowledge provided by my ancestors and family, provide a lens which guides my scientific investigation. In 2016, as a Year 7 student, I completed my science fair research project on kinnabarans, sea urchin, and the impacts they have on our marine ecosystem. My presentation was interactive with a Facebook page, Fresh Kinna Te Eat at my display, and a collection of interviews with family and elders, and how we need to stop the overfishing of their natural predators, the snapper and crayfish. These predators eat the kinna, which allows the seaweed and kelp forests to grow and restore the modi, the life force of the ocean. My fascination with the world around me continued, and in 2017, I completed another successful science fair research project on the traditional practice of harvesting tohora, whales, following the stranding of a sperm whale named Tahuhu Potuki on the Whangarei Harbour. Through my research, I was able to learn about how Western science and the Māori world work hand in hand in the understanding of whale strandings. What winning did highlight to me is the important place that traditional knowledge has in modern science. Our world and our understanding is not based off Western science alone. Rather, as we acknowledge our indigenous peoples and the cultures around the world, we will increase our world scientific knowledge. I believe science fairs are but one tool for Fano to engage with their young people. We need more pioneers and explorers, just like our ancestor, Maui Portuki, who slowed the sun, and Maui, who fished up the North Island. Let's encourage our children to explore the world around them. I know some of you may wonder, how do you instill a love of science in kids these days? Hmm, that's a tough one. Because day after day, the adults in our lives shut down the opportunity for children to explore their natural world, to understand the world around us. We need to explore it. We need to break things. We need to deconstruct things. In fact, I argue that we need to allow children to explore, to try new things, and to tutu. Let them play more. Just like our ancestor, Maui Portuki. Without exploration, we lose our natural-born scientist. In closing, we have a whakatauki, a proverb, by my ancestor, Te Pere Jones. Ko tahi tangata, he raunga tangata. From one person comes 100 people. We need to nurture our children in the world of science, and through this, we can create a new whakapapa and a legacy of future generations of scientists. Ko tahi tangata, he raunga tangata. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou katoe.